<laughs> was that they? You're rolling. Not last time. No. Hey. Yeah, hey. Hey. Oh. All right. Hi, guys. We are at You Salvage. My name's Stefan. I'm Maddie. I'm Dumont. I'm David. All right. TJX, how would you like to become more environmentally friendly for no cost? <laughs> what if I told you that TJX accepting clothing donations in exchange for a coupon would not only increase your revenues, but make your customers happy? Social responsibility goes up, customer satisfaction goes up, and revenues go up. And you don't need to give us a cent to make this a reality. All we need are your resources. Let's explain how. Listen, consumers today are buying way more than ever. As a matter of fact, we buy about five times more clothing than we did in 1980. And at the same time, we threw away more clothes, 40% more clothes in 2009 than we did just a decade earlier. So what are we doing with all this runway clothing? Only about 20% of Americans' used clothing are being sold at secondhand retail outlets and thrift stores in the US. Thousands of pounds of clothing are being dumped to developing areas like Sub-Saharan Africa, South America, and China, where the clothes are resold to the locals, wreaking havoc on the local industries by taking jobs away from the textile workers. So who are we and what are we going to do about all this? We are a salvaging business called Youth Salvage. Our plan is for people to donate used clothes in a TJ Maxx or Marshalls location in exchange for a 15% off clothing coupon to TJ Maxx and Marshalls, which would increase revenues for TJX. Um, yeah, which would increase revenues for TJX. We will then sort the clothing into either resellable clothes or recyclable clothes. We will sell the clothes to secondhand uh, stores locally that we're partnered with, and the remaining clothes will be recycled in the USA. This is better than other salvagers who sell abroad because, as I mentioned earlier, they are damaging the local economies and the global market. Our goal is for TJX to transform their reputation into one with a greater environmental focus, which will be very favorable among consumers. Our plan is to begin in one pilot store where you salvage will refurbish one pre-existing sales desk into a donation desk where anyone can come in and donate a minimum of three pounds of clothing in exchange for a 15% clothing coupon for TJ Maxx or Marshalls. Our job is to sort and sell the best clothing to second-hand stores where TJX will receive 20% of the profits off of those transactions. Clothes that are not deemed sellable will be recycled in the U.S., which will benefit the American economy and not hurt economies abroad. You might be wondering, why should we give clothing coupons if TJX already marks their clothes down? Well, if consumers have a coupon, they'll be more inclined to come shop sooner, which will increase the already speedy inventory turnover rates. With this, fewer clothes will be stuck in the store and marked down excessively. So you salvage provides value to every single entity involved in this whole process. In TGX, we're allowing them to become more environmentally conscious as a company and increasing their social responsibility. And because of the uh, coupons that we're going to be giving out in exchange for the donations, they're going to get a higher inventory turnover, as Declan said, meaning that they won't have to mark down their inventory as much to be able to sell it. And you salvage is going to handle every single step of the process. To TJX customers, they're allowed, we're getting them to be more environmentally conscious by donating more clothing more often, and also providing a convenient location for donations. To our company, our partnership with TJX allows us access to their recognition and reputation, which will be very important in our future growth. And we're also focused on creating a more environmentally friendly world by partnering with more companies. To the fashion and resale businesses we're partnering with locally, we're gonna be a, a stable supplier of used clothing inventory we're also going to try and encourage the growth of local businesses around our retail stores. Our Qualtrics survey proves that there is a market for our service. So we found that there was a correlation between how often respondents shopped at a TJX store and how often they donate. So now we're just going to uh, create an intersection of these two points between the one and three times a year they go. We're going to be able to uh, sort of hit two birds with one stone and get them to go to a TJX store and donate clothes in the same place, providing convenience. 94% of respondents expressed interest in discounts in exchange for donations, which is fantastic because this is exactly what our program is. There's a lot of interest to donate and get something in return. And 98% of people said that it was at least somewhat important that uh, companies are environmentally conscious. And if we're in an increasingly more aware world in which climate change is very much real, we want to uh, take steps to sort of mitigate that and become more environmentally conscious consumers. So our target market has two sections. The first one will be the social bar supply. And we'll, as I said, it will be um, from the main uh, target of our consumer, TGX, which is uh, the middle-aged uh, women you know, between the ages of 25 and 40, uh, 54. Uh, so the, because we're operating in Boston, we're focused on the Boston population as a general market. And uh, because 52% of Americans 
American households are willing to donate. We uh, we got the number of uh, general the general number of the target consumers for uh, TGX and multiplied by fifty uh, percent to get the number that you know, will be an estimate of how many people will donate and will also go to TGX. The other segment of our target market will be the, uh, the people we'll sell to, and we are mainly focused on. Uh, one store which we'll partner uh, with, which is Buffalo Chain. We'll sell all the uh, clothing that we collect. However, the extra, the excess cl clothing that we cannot sell, we will just donate to Market Fiber, which is a recycling company that will help uh, the environment. Uh, so in terms of our, uh, our growth in TGX, we'll begin by piloting with the TJ Maxx store in the Boston area. And we chose to start with the TJ Maxx store over Marshalls because more people responded that they visited um, TJ Maxx over Marshalls in our survey. <coughs> and then based on our uh, success in our first store, we'll then expand to other locations throughout the US. And as we expand, we'll be um, continuing to partner with local resale stores on the way. And then in terms of um, growth for our company, our success with uh, TJX will prove our business concept. And then this will allow us to expand to other retail stores, and then we can partner with them in the same way using TJ as a figurehead. And so the main competitors that we've indicated is first H&M's conscious program, where you can donate a bag of clothing for um, a 15% discount on the entire next purchase. And then we have American Eagles program, where you can donate a pair of old jeans for $10 off a new pair. There's an annual program where you can uh, also donate a pair of old jeans for $20 off a new pair. So the strengths that we've indicated is first, we protect domestic businesses. All, donate, um, all donations we receive are either recycled or um, sold to secondhand stores domestically only. So in this sense, we increase the business for a lot of local um, retailers. And compared to American Eagle and Maybell, we collect all kinds of donated clothing while they only collect jeans. And we also provide um, clothing coupons for all kinds of clothing while they only provide discounts on jeans as well. The main weakness we have um, is that we're only limited to clothing donations while Agent and Conscious can um, collect any kind of textile. And then for our opportunities, the secondhand clothing industry was worth $5 billion in 2018 and is projected to grow to $23 billion by 2023. So we feel our business has a lot of opportunities for success. And then our threats would obviously be um, low donations from customers and low demand from resale businesses. If the amount of donations we receive or the demand for the donations we receive is lower than predicted, it'll be very difficult for us to create revenue for both us, ourselves as well as TJX. So for, uh, for our financing, we're, we're projected to make a, have a breaking even, break even at the between the second and the third year. Uh, our, our business has a unique attitude, which is it doesn't have a, a huge startup cost. So the way we're going to calculate how uh, we're going to pay for all that is just the amount of deficit we will have throughout the, the three years. That's, how we'll, uh, that's the amount of equity that we'll pay. Uh, also, the, uh, the other part that uh, we're planning to uh, pay back all the loans and the uh, uh, costs that we got in the third year. Um, so, also because we are uh, going to expand in the second uh, in the second year and third year, we're going to expand to multiple stores. That will help uh, uh, also expand our revenue, and we can project that by fifth year we can go outside of Boston and hopefully uh, increase our revenues and maybe by then we can be a better uh, better partner with TJX and maybe expand to further companies. So the, the way the way our stocks are going to move are we'll begin first with our customer. They'll they'll have their US flows and that's a very versatile source of uh, supply. They will go to the TGX stores where they will be handing in their uh, used clothing. Uh, they will, we will store it then in the same store as uh, in the inventory of TGX. If 
here or to your left. After that, we will have a transporting service, uh, pick up the supplies or the stocks that we have and move them to our resale facilities and warehouses, uh, where we also will be getting supplies from uh, different places like stables and targets to have the equipment and utilities so we can sort out the supply that we get. After which we will also use the same using the same transporting transporting service. We'll be either moving it to the, the to, uh, to Buffalo Chain, so we can sell them to sell them our part to them, or we're moving it to a market fiber. Um, so our marketing plan is quite simple. We're just going to use TGX's existing marketing infrastructure as it's already highly developed. So we'll be emailing all current customers who um, are signed up for emails from TGX about our new donation campaign. And then we'll also have in-store ad campaigns for customers who are unaware of it to see. And um, our campaign as a whole is going to focus on the environmental friendliness and the convenience of donations. We're also going to emphasize the 15% off clothing coupon to motivate more people to donate. So the human resources section, we're going to cover um, who we're going to employ within our company. The four others is us, we're going to be making the majority of the decisions for you salvage. And under us will be a facility manager to manage the you salvage warehouse slash facility. And under them will be four facility employees who will help sort and uh, examine the clothing into either um, sell or recycle. And a facility janitor to keep the entire space clean. Uh, and those two groups of people will be working at the facility. And we will have two retail store employees that will work at, in this case, the TJ Maxx, who will be trained by our facility manager, but will be managed under the TJ Maxx manager. Um, and uh, we want to foster a culture of family and environmental friendliness within our staff. And because we're so partnered so closely with another retail store, all of our uh, manager and employee relationships are gonna be very transparent and trustworthy. All right, so to summarize, our goal is for TJX to be the next leader in social responsibility. By giving consumers a convenient place to drop off used clothing and receive a 15% coupon for clothing in return, consumers will be motivated to buy and inventory will leave the shelves faster than ever. TGX will profit financially and socially. With TGX's partnership, U Salvage will help local secondhand retail stores grow, as well as protect vulnerable nations abroad from the negative effects of tech.